Tara Horn here from Simple Day, and I am on a mission to make productivity simple using Monday.com. If you need help implementing Monday.com, a link to my website is in the description below. Today, I wanted to share a use case with you that I recently came across from an accounting client of mine. What he wanted to do is he wanted to have an item created every month that would say monthly report with the month and the date. Now, it's true that you can simply add the word March 2023, but let me give you a little bit more background so you understand the case. First of all, he has over a thousand clients. So to, ha to have to add the date to each thing really would be a lot to have to do manually. Second of all, all of this information was coming from a different board in monday.com. He had a client's board. And basically when there was a due date that was reached, an item was created on the task board. The reason that he wanted written, it written like this is sometimes if you have a monthly report, it may not necessarily be completed in the month that you currently are in. So he would want to know what month is the report that they need to do for. Imagine you have hundreds and hundreds of reports and you didn't finish it. Even if you have a due date column or potentially a text column, which you may have to add manually, it's much easier to have it written out like this. So the question is, how are we able to figure this out? So what I did is I installed an app called Column Magic Text Builder. This is from Jim at the Monday Man. I highly recommend you check out his apps. They're really powerful. So using this app, I did a number of things. The first thing that I did is I did an automation that says when item is created, set creation date to today. Because this date of the month and the year that I want to pull in is based on the creation date. The one other caveat that I want to just add is that this date and month, this month and year only needs to be pulled in for monthly reports. Like let's say for social media or a blog, it didn't need to be pulled in. So that was um, a qualifying factor that we had to take into account. So if you go over to all my automations, the first one I already explained, when an item is created, set creation date to today. The second automation that I created is a custom automation. And I said, when item is created and only if type is monthly report, because as I said, I wanted to qualify it. Then I took one of the recipes from Column Magic Text Builder. I want to write a text column to move the item to an, to an item name with a certain date format. Now the date format that I did was month and year. Obviously there's a lot of different options that you can, you can do. If you just would search the automations, you would see all of these recipes built here. So I just want to show you how this works. So I'm going to go to my form and I'm just going to write monthly report. And then I'm just going to hit monthly report and I'm going to hit submit. Now, if I go back to my main board, see monthly report is created, then the creation date is set and it's monthly report. And then it changed to add the month over here, the month and the year.